In Creole Parametric, you can use the thickness analysis tool to validate a model that you intend to be manufactured in a mold or a casting. This command is available from the analysis tab, but I want to mention a few things about this. This command used to be available in mold casting mode. For example, if you went to applications, then here you have the mold analysis command. Here you have mold cast mode, but now it's available on the analysis tab. If you are on Creo Parametric 4.0 or earlier, there's a config.pro option that you need to enable in order to see this command. If you search on 3D or thickness, you'll see the command for 3D thickness check, excuse me, the option for 3D thickness check, and you can set that to yes. But let's take a look at how to use this. So again, I've got this part over here. It's going to be created using injection molding. I'll click on the thickness command over here, and we have the measure 3D thickness dialog box. The first thing that we need to do is pick what we want to analyze. In this particular case, I'm just going to select all the solid geometry, and then you're going to specify your minimum and maximum thickness values. And the model will appear color-coded based on that. Anything lower than the minimum thickness will appear in this purple color. If you want it to be in a different color, you can click on the little color button and then change what color that you're using for it, but I'm okay with that. And anything between the minimum and the maximum will be in the neutral color. In this case, by default, it's set to gray. Anything that exceeds the maximum is going to be in the red color. And for this particular model, these values are pretty high. I'm going to change these to more appropriate values and change this to 1.5 over here. Then we have the tolerance, and the tolerance is going to determine how accurately the analysis is performed. This value is pretty high based on my minimum and maximum, so I'm going to change this one as well. Let's initially start out with 0.25. Then you have a threshold angle that it uses as well for the vertical surfaces. Here we have an option to use post-processing, and you can see by the tooltip that post-process the results to improve the quality and the accuracy. And this can make a pretty big difference in the appearance of the color coding in the model, so I'm going to select that as well. So that is good for the initial setup. I'm going to click the Compute button, and you can see that it is running. Down on the message area, we can see the process. And so let's come back in a few seconds when this is done running. All right, now it is done. This actually took quite a few seconds because it had to go through two loops. The first loop was to do the initial 3D thickness analysis. The second loop was because of the checked option to use post-processing. Let's move this dialog box out of the way. We can see in this particular situation that the minimum thickness was violated. I had a minimum value here of 0.5, and I found that the minimum thickness was 0.484 millimeters and you can see with the color coding where we had violations of the minimum thickness any of the areas where you see purple that's where I've got thickness problems and any of the areas that are highlighted in red that's where it exceeds the maximum specified thickness let's take a look at a few of the other different options that you have in here in the upper right hand corner you have a drop down list that allows you to either make this as a feature that appears in the model or you can save the analysis if you save the analysis you'll have something called persistent display so you can see the color coding on the computer screen and it updates with changes to your model but be aware when you change the model it's going to have to run through the calculations so you might be be careful about having that turned on because it can seriously delay your work let's cancel out of here and take a look at some of the other different options oh yeah by the way you have a little eraser here if you want to clear everything that has been selected inside of here so we have an information button which will basically bring up the information in the 
embedded browser. Let me collapse the embedded browser. And also we have some other different options that we can use inside of here. So by default, it's using the units by the model. It's using this case here, millimeters. But if you want to enter the values in different units, you could specify them from the drop-down list. It's using the default number of decimal places that is established by your config.pro options. This use automatic compute option will automatically run the analysis if you change any of the values inside of here. And also you have the ability to show the feature tab. If I check this box over here and then click the OK button, here we have a feature tab. If Again, you can create this as a feature in the model. And if you create it as a feature, you can have it generate a couple of different parameters in the model. And also here we have the ability to create a datum point at the location with the minimum thickness. But again, that's if you want to create it as a feature in the model tree. That's typically used if you are doing things like feasibility and optimization studies, which is currently grayed out over here because I have this dialog box open. Feasibility and optimization studies allow you to tell Creo Parametric to update your model to meet different conditions. Like for example, if you wanted to have all the geometry greater than the minimum thickness, hey, you could set up those different feasibility and optimization studies. But anyhow, here we have the analysis tab over here. I'm happy with the results of the 3D thickness check, so let's close the dialog box, and now I'm back to the original model colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.